books, business news channels, business newspapers, magazines, and the whole gamut of social media, which includes your Instagram, YouTube, influencers, talking on all platforms, trying to teach you about money. Today, the options to learn how to invest your money and get financially literate are virtually unlimited. And yet, if you observe, there is so much more confusion with because of all this information overload and you don't know how to filter out all the noise from actual information. In today's episode, you're going to understand five big myths about how to manage your money better. Be prepared to change your thought process about insurance, business news channels, influencers and a lot more. This is not just a single episode that I'm creating on this topic. For that matter of fact, there's going to be a part two, which will be released next week. So make sure that you subscribe to the Paycheck to Profit YouTube channel or the podcast, depending on how you're consuming this episode. Hello and welcome to episode four of Paycheck to Profit podcast. Paycheck to Profit is a community created for millennials and Gen Z's who are wanting to change their relationship with money, get the right money mindset, get financially literate and achieve the abundance, financial abundance in their life. I'm Manish Aouja, your host, your financial abundance coach and the founder of Paycheck to Profit. A quick reminder, this podcast is available both in audio and video format. So if you are watching us on YouTube, do not forget to subscribe to the podcast on the favorite podcast of your choice. And if you're listening to us on the favorite podcast application of your choice, you can watch the video version of this episode and all the past episodes on the official channel of Paycheck to Profit. So you'll find the link to the YouTube channel in the show notes. The first myth that I want you to bust is that you need a lot of money to start investing. To be fair, let's say this myth does not come from any particular news source or any particular influencer because I don't think there's anybody who's going to tell you that you should focus on your lifestyle before you start focusing on investments. You should start focusing on spending your money before you start focusing on investing and growing your money. For that matter of fact, if you're following any such person or if you have heard anybody telling you to focus on YOLO rather than your investments, that's the first person that you need to unfollow because that person is definitely not a good friend for your finances and your wallet. The second myth, the second myth that I want to bust is that investing is very complex or complicated. At Paycheck to Profit Academy, one argument that I've always come across is that the participants of the, of the academy find feel that it is very difficult to learn how to invest or that the whole process of financial literacy is very time consuming or a very tedious process. This is extremely far from being true. Understand this. There are multiple options of investment that are available to you. You don't need to learn all the possible investment options right from day one. Imagine if you're learning how to cook, will you learn how to cook all the cuisines and all the dishes on day one? No, it's a journey. You need to take one step at a time. You can learn to evaluate one product at a time and the whole process of your financial literacy is going to be a journey where you every piece of information that you learn every new product feature that you understand is only going to expand your knowledge one way to expand your knowledge for free and in the most amazing manner is to become a part of the profit clan profit clan is an online newsletter community of paycheck to profit where i'll be sending you information on the new episodes of our podcast if a new episode is being launched on the youtube channel of paycheck to profit or when i'm creating new freebies or i'm writing ex exclusive newsletters invitations to the profit masterclass or when i'm going live it's a beautiful way to come together learn about money get more responsible about your investments and do all of this one simple small step at a time even watching this episode is adding to your overall financial knowledge and paycheck to profit or profit plan is only going to expand that journey at a much faster pace so make sure to check the show notes and subscribe to the profit plan it's obviously free and you'll start getting all your email updates i promise you there are no spams and the plan uh, the clan the profit clan literally feels incomplete without you so make sure that you're subscribed to the profit clan the third thing that i want you to understand that's a big myth that you really need you to bust for yourself is that you can invest and make a lot of money by investing on the basis of tips analyst reports financial news that you see on channels or on newspapers or online or influencers now there needs to be some disclaimers and a little perspective that i need to share with you Let's look at an example. Have you ever bought a car or a new cell phone only on the basis of one review of one tech influencer or a car influencer? 
No, right? You go and do your research. You'll watch the reviews from multiple sources. But when it comes to finances, many people end up watching content of one influencer who's trying to spread financial literacy. But you also need to understand there are a few bad apples in the whole basket of influencers also. Or maybe that the influencer that you're watching the content of is biased. There are also many scamsters who have now started using photographs of popular influencers and inviting you into a telegram group or a whatsapp group and trying to share tips with you which is going to have a strong negative impact on your investment cycle. So what I need you to do is to consume all the content that you want, maybe from news media, maybe from influencers, but I also want you to back it up with your research. Watch multiple videos on that same topic and figure out who seems biased. Figure out who is giving you the right information, including the information that you get from Paycheck to Profit and me. If I ever tell you something that you find is absolutely contradicting to most other influencers, please make sure that you call me out on that in the comment section or you can always reach out to me. The purpose is that the authentic influencers, authentic uh, financial educators will always be more than happy to tell you to confirm whatever they are saying and make sure that the information that you hear from them is authentic, legitimate and it is not being forced down upon you. News media, although very influential, can get really biased at times. So it is your responsibility to educate yourself on, based on any piece of information that you see on the news, on social media or on blogs. Use all of these sources to educate yourself, get more perspective, but always validate that knowledge on the basis of analysis, on the basis of second opinion and make sure that when you're actually investing your money or doing that on the basis of your self-confidence and not just on the basis of a tip or of influencer or a news media having shown you the path. It's safe to assume that every person who's creating content has their benefit uh, in their mind before your benefit. So just make sure, use that as a safety measure and you'll always make better financial decisions. The fourth myth that I really want you to get to the depth of is insurance is a form of investment. Now this is a very, very, very big myth. The only product that has sold mis has been missold in the world of financial space or the financial instrument space is insurance. It has, is, it has been being missold for years and decades. It is, it continues to be missold and I'm sure it is going to continue to missell even many years down the line. Now understand the whole difference between insurance and an investment product. When you buy a lottery ticket, what are you doing? You're paying a small amount, hoping that when you win, you will big up, you will win a big amount in return. Insurance works the exact opposite way. You pay a small amount and when something unforeseen happens, when something unfortunate happens, the person who is your nominee will get a big amount. Now, insurance as a product should always be used as a hedging tool or as a safety tool where you buy an insurance policy and only when something wrong happens, you get a big sum of amount and you should never hope to redeem that insurance policy because for you to redeem that policy, something bad has to either happen to your life or in your business or in any aspect of your life. So I would never want anybody to claim the insurance policy, but I would want everyone to have the right appropriate insurance for themselves, for the for people who are dependent on you and for your businesses and for your home, so on and so forth. Unfortunately, invest, uh, insurance generally gets sold as an investment product where your insurance advisor will tell you to buy an insurance, pay a higher premium and you'll get your premium back. You'll also get a return on your investment and you will double your money over 10, 15, 20, 30 years. More often than not, the return that you get, the actual return that you get is horrible in insurance investment schemes. So always buy the most basic insurance and never buy insurance as an investment product. Comment the word insurance in the comments below if you want me to create more content on the whole concept of insurance and explain this product to you in a much better manner. If you are listening to this episode on a podcast application of your choice, you can still find the link of the YouTube video of this particular 
episode so you can go to that youtube episode and comment the word insurance you can also ask me your questions about money mindset financial literacy investment products and i'll be more than happy to answer your questions in the comment section the fifth and the last myth that i want to break in today's episode is that you can outsource your investments to someone else while i hope and i wish that every person listening or watching this episode has really strong relationships in their life but the whole concept of having strong relationships in your life is for your emotional support not your financial support you may have the best family members your parents your siblings your spouses or you may have really good chartered accountants insurance advisors or financial advisors they may give you the right knowledge they may show you the right direction but i want you to get financially literate and start making your own financial decisions for yourself i want you to pull up your socks and take responsibility and ownership for all of your financial decisions look at it from this point of view you take so much care about your health about your relationships about your fashion choices about your technology purchases about your travel decisions and yet when it comes to money you want to outsource your financial decisions to someone else it's just pure irrespon- irresponsibility and i understand that this also comes from a lot of fear of not wanting to make a mistake it, there are a lot of money blocks that people are dealing with unknowingly and for that i would want you to stay connected to paycheck to profit get financial literacy one episode at a time become a part of the profit clan attend the profit master class you'll get intimations of profit master class if when you join the profit clan and you will start getting more responsible with your money one step at a time let me very quickly summarize all the five points that i have mentioned in, in this episode the five myths that i want you to bust and i hope you have busted them by today's episode is that you don't need a lot of money to start investing you can start investing with very small amounts investing as a process is not very complicated or complex you need to start understanding one investment opportunity or one investment instrument at a time and you can start your investment journey literally from today you should never invest on the basis of tips analyst reports financial news or influencers all the information that you get from media should be your first area of concern the first area of understanding and getting and grabbing your knowledge and then you should start your analysis process how to start your analysis process you need to focus on getting financially financially literate never use insurance as a form of investment it is just a completely different financial product and when you comment the word insurance i'll start creating more content on the concept of insurance so that you will get more clarity on this and you should never never outsource your investment and financial decisions to someone else if you've been listening to this episode or watching this episode till this point i suggest that you follow paycheck to profit on instagram and youtube the more followers give me the motivation to create more content get more answers in the comments and create more content to give you clarity on your questions on the on different topics of personal finance money mindset financial literacy law of attraction money blocks and a lot more if you found this episode helpful make sure that you subscribe to the podcast or the youtube channel because next week you will find the part 2 of this particular series where i'll be busting five more myths related to financial world and the world of investments if you would like to expand your journey of understanding financial products let me tell you you also really need to start working on changing the way you look at money and build your relationship with money i would like to recommend the third episode of the paycheck to profit podcast title of which was are all rich people evil understand how media is influencing your mind you'll find the link to that episode in the show notes so make sure that you watch that episode it's a very powerful episode and i've got really good response to that episode and i would never want you to miss that we've spent enough time together now it's time for you to tell me your thoughts tell me did any of the myths get broken by consuming this episode have you ever bought an insurance product as an investment what did the insurance advisor tell you have you ever have you realized that you've made an invest a wrong decision by investing in insurance as an investment was the return very uh, subdued what has your experience been tell me about what roles what role does a influencer play in your life who are your favorite influencers have you ever got into a bad investment decision based on an episode that you saw of another influencer do share that in the comments below tell me if you've ever 
read a media report and invested probably in an IPO or on, in a financial product that you've regretted in the past and are you managing your money or is somebody from your family or your relationships managing the money for you? How has that experience been for you? Has this particular episode made you want to start taking responsibility for your money? Now is your time to have a conversation with me. Go down to the comments in the YouTube and start sharing your thoughts. I would love to know everybody's comments. I read most of the comments that I receive and I reply to the most interesting ones. So make sure that you share your voice. Thank you so much for listening to this entire episode and watching till the end. I really appreciate your commitment towards your learning and your personal growth. Do not forget to like this video so that more and more people on YouTube and the YouTube community can discover this video and if you're watching uh, if you're listening to us on a podcast application of your choice do not forget to give us five stars five hearts five mics depending on the ui of the podcast application that you're listening to this episode on uh, do not forget to join the profit clan this clan literally feels incomplete without you you'll find the link to join the profit clan for free in the show notes of this episode and i really appreciate you giving me your time i appreciate your company and cannot wait to connect with you in the next episode until then please take good care of yourselves keep smiling keep going keep growing